Hi guys, today I have my May Fab and Drab for you. Hopefully you had an amazing month of May. Summer is finally here. We can start breaking out the dresses and the skirts and the sandals. Cannot wait. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at everything that I loved or maybe hated in the month of May. The first thing that I loved, I'm wearing on my nails right now, and today is one of those days where you paint your nails and then do things afterwards and then it's just a mess. And I normally don't have that problem because I use the HK Girl Top Coat, which is similar to Sesh Feet, very fast drying, but I put on just too many coats of nail polish. The top coat was too thick. Anyways, I've just completely messed them up. But anyways, the polish I'm wearing is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This is one of their new shades in Tickled Pink. And minus the huge chip there, I am just obsessed with these kind of like baby pinks. I've been watching a lot of Emily Clark's videos. She's doing summer vlogging and she's always wearing beautiful light pink shades. Um, and this is just a really, really nice shade as well. It is super cheap. I think they're like two dollars or three dollars and this brand of nail polish is really really nice and it's kind of like a perfect light pink for my skin tone anyways the next thing that I've been loving is something I'm wearing on my lips now I keep meaning to do a lip swatch video of all my NYC lipsticks haven't done that yet but it's coming um, this is the NYC expert last lipstick in the shade velvety fuchsia they do kind of market these as a matte lipstick I wouldn't say they're matte um, but they are very comfortable to wear so cheap these are like two for three dollars at Walmart which like you cannot beat that price very similar to kind of the wet and wild mega last they're kind of coming out with more and more and more colors so if you'd like to see a lip swatch video of all of my NYC lipsticks just let me know down below or give me a thumbs up um, but this is a really nice like I said I'm wearing it on my lips right now but it is just a really nice color and it's not so bright that people, you know, you might be like a little bit scared away from it. I think it's totally wearable and you can kind of just dab it on your lips lightly if you just kind of want a little bit of a flush of color. Um, speaking of color and something super bold, I have been loving ColourPop Tonic. This is a super bright um, matte, basically orange blush. I know it looks super scary and these ColourPop blushes, ooh, I haven't... I haven't used it in a couple days, but it is still so creamy. Like, look at that color. Is that not the craziest color? I love it in the crease as an eyeshadow, and I love it on my cheeks, too, if I'm doing, like, a super golden, bronzy look. Oh, my God, it just looks so good. And the ColourPop blushes, everything from ColourPop is absolutely amazing. Um, something new that I discovered, I got this in my birthday gift from Sephora, so, like, last January, like, 2014. It is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara, and I would have never gone for this. High-end mascaras, I just stay far, far away from them, but I used this the other day, about, about a week ago now, but I'm obsessed with it. Oh, my God. It's the only mascara that I'm wearing today. My lashes look amazing, super separated. It's got a really weird brush on it. It's kind of got like a cone shape so if you have really small eyes I don't know that this would necessarily work for you but this brush I don't know what it does but they're so long so separated but still have a little bit of volume in them too I don't know that I'm gonna go out and get the full size I think that would hurt way too much to buy the full size of this it's probably like 20 something dollars but oh my god gorgeous then the last makeup item that I was loving is the NYX HD concealer. This stuff is amazing. It is the best drugstore concealer I've ever used. Maybelline Fit Me concealer is nice, but this one is so much creamier, a little bit thicker, better pigmentation, um, better coverage, and yeah, it's just, I'll give you a little swatch to show you. I use mine in the shade Medium, um, but it is just so, I don't know, it's so full coverage, but not cakey under your eyes. And it's NYX, so it's really nicely priced. And uh, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've been reaching for it all month. Then the last thing I've been loving is something from the brand Life, which if you live in Canada, it's sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. And TLS Glam Chan, she is Canadian too. She lives in Calgary, I believe. And she mentioned this cleanser in her maybe February favorites. And I've been using the Michael Tard, Michael, Michael Tard, Michael Todd Charcoal Cleanser for years, a year and a half. And it's nice, but it costs like $20. And they just opened up a new Canadian website and the prices are jacked up. Like I know the Canadian dollar is no good right now, but still way too expensive. Anyways, the this cleanser is for all skin types, paraben free, helps reduce the appearance of pores, deep cleanses, dermatologist tested, and it's a charcoal cleanser. So it's black 
and I love it. It was like $6.99. I got it on sale for, I think, $4.99. Got a pump, and I highly suggest it if you have oily skin, combo skin, um, something you just want, like that's a little bit more hardcore at nighttime when you're kind of helping to break down any makeup on your face. Um, I highly suggest it, and um, yeah, I really, really like it. Then the last thing, my drab of the month, is from Mario Badescu, and I've owned this forever, and I've been meaning to talk about it forever. It is the Cucumber Makeup Remover Cream. I didn't buy this. I actually, on Instagram, they had a Halloween contest, and I, like, posted a picture of my face and won it, and they sent it to me. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like it. It's got parabens in it, first of all, which I try to avoid. I've used a lot of it. Um, it's just so creamy. It says you can just wipe it on your, like put it on your face and then wipe it off with a, like a cotton pad. I would never do that. Maybe it's just that I have oily skin and these kind of really creamy, really, I don't know. It's not even like a nice oil. Like it just feels like it's going to clog my pores. I would never use this and just, um, wipe it off. I'll wipe it all over my face if I have like a lot of makeup on, but I think I've got other things that I like to remove my makeup with. So I'm going to pass this along to like a friend who may like it more. Um, but for me, it didn't really do it for me. I love the Mario Badescu drying cream, but this, um, yeah, this is a drab for me. I think it's just my skin tone. It's not like it's a bad product. It did remove my makeup fine enough, um, but it's just too thick and too, uh, too heavy for me. So that is everything that I loved and that one drab for the month of May. I hope you had an amazing month of May. I hope June is going to be awesome too. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!